We knew for quite a while that Hollow Knight was coming to the Nintendo Switch. It's been available on PC since 2017, and in 2018, at Nintendo's E3, the game was released. Straight away. And this game has been on my personal radar for quite a while, since I saw the first uh, visuals of the game. I was instantly in, straight away. Didn't need to see any gameplay, just saw a screenshot, that's it, I'm in. I was very excited and thrilled to see that Hollow Knight was available to play straight after Nintendo's E3. And I jumped on it straight away and my goodness me. Bros, I've got to tell you about Hollow Knight. This is just such a special game. Let me talk about the visuals, because it's what got me straight away hooked onto this game. The visuals are just so beautiful. This tiny studio from Australia called Team Cherry made this beautiful looking, almost fairy tale like aesthetic game that just looks the part. It is so beautiful. There are so many different places that you visit in Hollow Knight and this sort of uh, different themes. You go to castles, you'll go through forests, you'll go through scary caves and each one looks distinctly unique. They all look individual. They're all different but all connect in such a great way. The game's style of play is Metroidvania, which if you've played a Metroid game or you've played a Castlevania game, you kind of know what to expect from this game. If you have not played any of those games, it's a 2D maze that sort of grows over time. You will be backtracking a lot, so if you're not into backtracking, you might not be a great fan of this game. If you really hate backtracking, you might not want to maybe skip this one, but Honestly, I'm not a fan of backtracking in video games too much, but Hollow Knight got me hooked. Best thing about this game though is not its visuals, not that it's Metroidvania style genre gameplay, it's combat. The combat is absolute perfection. It nails combat like I think so many games of a similar nature kind of miss because once you attack, you feel the attacks. Also, HD Rumble is in this game. Each time you hit an enemy, you hit that enemy. You feel that hit. That hit feels good. And you have this sword, I think it's called a nail, and it's just such a wonderful way to take down enemies. And all these enemies, they're all different, well not all of them are completely different, you will attack the same enemy uh, over and over again quite a few times, but it feels good to attack the enemies, as it should. I mean it doesn't feel like busy work. Every enemy that you come across, you kind of want to take them down. It feels right, it doesn't feel like I just want to skip over the enemy and just move on to the next part of the the terrain. No, this game makes you want to take down every enemy and it feels good to do so. As time goes on you also can upgrade and get special powers which also enhance the way you attack and the way you move throughout the world and it feels so good to get upgrades, to get new attacks and uh, it's hard to put into words how much this game is so, so just beautiful, brilliant, and such a unique game, even though it's in a genre that is maybe almost done to death, almost, because there are so many games like it, but Hollow Knight just puts a whole new spin on this type of genre. There is also, obviously, more with this game. There is the characters and the bosses, Ooh, the characters in this game. I mean, <sighs> so many unique ones and so many diverse, funny, uh, some are very serious, some are very charismatic, some are just lost and loopy and it's just so good because it all just connects in this wonderful jigsaw which 
I could never do when I was young. I hate jigsaws. The bosses. Again, just like the characters. Completely and utterly unique. You've got some of the most unique and creative bosses I've seen in a game. And these are not easy bosses. These are some that will test you depending on how you change your combat. There are so many ways to take down bosses and in how long it takes to take down each boss is unique to how you play and what you decide to upgrade in combat in, in your upgrades your magic spells. Trying to be very careful at what I say because I don't want to give too much of the game away. But think of, and I know this is probably also done to death, Dark Souls. Dark Souls is considered a hard game. The bosses in this game can also kind of be considered to be somewhat difficult. Perhaps sometimes you might not be able to take down a boss. Well, just move on, go to somewhere else and maybe you'll get an upgrade to take the, down the boss that you could not before. This game does that, and it does it so well. Oh, the music is absolutely amazing in this game. Every place, just like the visuals, feels unique. The music is also so beautiful and goes in every place, as the visuals do. It is wonderful. And can I just say, Green Path. Green Path. If you buy this game, Green Path. The music in Green Path, 10 out of 10. The visual with the music, the atmosphere and the enemies that you take down, it's one of the most beautiful parts of the game. And it's quite early on, but it just, once I got to Green Path, that's it. I was gonna finish this game and see it through. And above everything that I've just mentioned, there is one more thing, this game is just, incredible because it gives you so much for such a low price value for this game is incredible this game is not is barely two digits in terms of whatever your currency is you could buy a meal from a fast food joint and it would probably be around about the same price as this game although this is a weird analogy a fast food meal would only satisfy you for what 30 minutes Hollow Knight has satisfied me for almost 70 hours. I completed this game and it was just around 50 hours, I believe, at about 93% completion. And I'm still playing this game. The amount of game you get for the price that, that Hollow Knight is, this game is dangerously undersold. You are getting an absolute bargain for this game. Period. So if you're into platformers, if you're into Metroidvanias, Metroid Castlevania games, if you're into just games that have great in-depth combat or beautiful visuals, get Hollow Knight because it will be wholeheartedly worth it. It is such a beautiful game and I just keep saying the same thing over and over again, but it's just incredible. I love this game so much. Team Cherry, this small team, deserve all the success praise that they get because it's Hollow Knight. And it's, it's, it is, it's a game. It's definitely a game. If you have any questions about this game, as in I want to get it but so-and-so, or I have this game but I'm struggling at this part, or what do you think of this part of the game? just let me know and put it down and I will get back to you because I want as many people possible to play Hollow Knight because it is such an incredible game and yes, I keep saying the same thing over and over again. Thank you for watching. Until the next time everybody, have a marvellous, fantastic rest of your day, whatever it is you are doing and I hope to see you in the future. Until then, peace.